We're gonna expose the devil again. And I know some of you are like, oh, you don't need to talk about this. Guys, if Christians don't talk about this, who's going to? If Christians aren't gonna sound the alarm, aren't gonna blow the trumpet, and aren't gonna speak forth the word of God and declare that these things are wrong, then I don't know who's going to. And so this, this is to help train you guys this is to help equip you guys to help your friends and family that are tangled in the spider web of the new age. And I honestly just want to mm -hmm. say in the forefront, I really was praying today th believing that God is going to deliver people tonight from the new age. I believe God's mm -hmm. going to rescue people. People are going to get real deliverance, real breakthrough, and you're mm -hmm. going to come out of this deception that that veil that the devil has been put on your eyes, the Lord's going to remove that veil. The Lord's going to remove those dirty scales of the new age and give you eyes to see, give you ears to hear. So we're not just believing for an information stream. Like me and Angela are both believing for the power of God to be released, for lives to be changed by his. There's so much, Angela, we can't do that only God can do. And that's why I was praying, Lord, do what only you can do. Change lives tonight. Change marriages tonight. Untangle people from this web. And so we, are, we prayed real quick before, guys, and we're just believing for God to move. We're, we're asking the Holy Spirit, do whatever you want to do. If you want to heal, if you want to deliver, if you want to save, then Lord, have your way. So tonight, guys, have expectation, have hunger. Those that mm. thirst shall be filled. So be be thirsty tonight. I'm thirsty. I'm, I'm like, Lord, I'm tired. I need a fresh filling of the Holy Spirit. I need the power of God in my life. And so we're just coming in super thirsty and super hungry. Is there any opening thoughts? I know, Angela, I'm kind of going off here and talking, but do you have any opening thoughts along with that? Isaiah, do you ever let your guests talk? I'm just kidding. Yeah, I know. That's what the comments are going to always say. I was thinking of that tonight. I'm like, I already know the comments. Isaiah, when do you let your guests talk? <laughs> no, I actually, I love that you said that because I got the same word when I was praying about this um, stream tonight that this is going to reach people who are on the precipice Come on. of finally surrendering everything to Christ. Like those people that are going to find this video, they're the ones that have just been having that little voice in the back of their head, yep. which is the Holy Spirit. They just don't know it yet saying like, there's truth to this. There's truth to this. You got to give it up. You got to give it up. And they sought this video out. Mm -hmm. So we're talking to all of you right now that are on the precipice because I want you to know that I was there too. And the Lord, it's no accident that you're seeing this video tonight or whenever you're watching on the replay. Um, he is after your heart and he's he, he just loves you so much. And yeah, I definitely believe that he's going to do a good thing here, a mighty thing here that he only can do, like you said. And even as we're sharing too, I know sometimes like there's people that I know just outside of like the Christian world and YouTube and they do yoga and they do this and they see my videos and mm -hmm. we're calling out yoga and meditation and crystals and opening your third eye and zodiac signs. We're going to talk about a lot of that stuff tonight, but guys, we're not doing it to bring condemnation into you. We're bringing it to bring conviction yeah. and to pull you out of that because we know it might look innocent on the outside and this is really how the new age packages itself. But the Bible says the devil comes as an angel of light and it's no wonder that his ministers comes as come as angel of light, yeah. angels of light. So there are demonic evangelists that are preaching self-help, that are preaching yoga, that are preaching zodiac signs, that are preaching Enneagram. And Angela, I love what you always talk about in your testimony. They're doing it innocently. Like they genuinely want to help people. And this is something you share that you were trying to help people. When you were in the new age, you legitimately thought, correct me if I'm wrong, you were helping people. You were bringing people yeah. healing and wholeness. And so yeah. we're not here to smack you over the head with a virtual Bible. We are here to tell you, that this is, this is actually a dark pit that the enemy wants you in. And there's depression, there's anxiety, there's fear, there's suicide, there's cutting, there's eating disorders. There's all these things under in the underbelly of the new age that most people don't talk about. And so it's not, it's not all self-help. It's not all roses and dandy. No. It's actually very dark. And today, don't see this as us judging you. See this as us throwing you a lifesaver. See, see us as coming on a life raft saying, hey, get on, you're drowning and we might be the last boat that shows up. This actually might be the last stream you ever hear warning you of this. This might be the last broadcast you hear of calling you to repentance. So we, we don't hate you. We love you. If you are in the new age, I know this is kind of, you know, off the cuff here, but we actually love you. 
We actually want to see God's best for your life. And we're doing this out of love. We're doing this out of compassion. The Bible says Jesus was moved by compassion. He was anointed by the Father with the Holy Spirit and power, going about healing all oppressed of the devil. He had compassion for them. And I just feel this tonight, even as we start, Angela, man, my heart is broken for so many of you that are lost in this spider web. You're looking for purpose and love and joy in this world. Angela was just a few years ago in the same place you were in. She was just there a few years ago and I would love just starting Angela, maybe just share a little bit of how you were there and you thought you were helping people and healing people. And then I would love to hear also about how you even like, what made you go down that road as well? Yeah, 100% copy and paste everything you just said. It's so true that people in the new age, they are, they are in it because they do have good intentions, but as the saying goes, the road to good, um, the road to good intentions. The road leads to hell to is hell. paved with good into- intentions. Thank you. Yeah, that's yep, that's gotcha. it. Um, and that's the very nature of deception, right? Like you don't understand that you are being deceived, or else it wouldn't be a deception. Mm. And so for me, that's where I was for ten years. Um, I tried everything because I had struggled with anxiety and depression my entire life. And then my grandma died and it was just the icing on the cake where I sought out a medium, got tarot cards, got crystals, started doing Reiki, started doing yoga, started doing astrology, thought I was a star seed. Um, all of these things for nearly a decade where I was just wow. on this pursuit of self-healing and I thought, well, I want to help other people with that too. So I started a podcast where I was giving people astrological wisdom, so to speak, and essentially using that platform to, as you said, be a dark evangelist. But I didn't know that's what I was doing. Wow. I thought I was doing a good thing. Um, But ultimately, everything in New Age is a self-savior complex where you are both the problem and the solution. I say all the time, it's like a knot trying to untie itself from the inside. And you literally cannot do that. Wow. So when it comes down to it, there is no healing. There is a band-aid on a gunshot wound time and time again. Um, and that's ultimately what led me to Christ was I got to the end of myself where it had been 10 years of all of this stuff and it really wasn't working. It worked until it didn't. And I called out to Jesus and I said, Jesus, save me. And I didn't know where that came from at the time, but Psalms says that deep calls out to deep and that's what it was. I was in this place of, just absolute i was experiencing the separation from god that transpired way back in the garden which i'm going to talk about in the second why people are attracted to the new age but that's what i was i was experiencing that that separation that chasm and i craved that reconciliation wow and that's really what the new age is do you want me to kind of get into that why people are attracted to it um you know because god made us in his image and likeness says that right at the beginning of Genesis, but we lost that union. We lost our perfect fellowship with God that he gave us upon creation. And we lost our right to paradise in his eternal presence. We lost access to the kingdom of light when Adam and Eve chose to step outside of his light because Eve fell for the lie. And this is the most interesting part. She fell for the lie that she could obtain something that was already hers. Because they already had God's likeness. And what did the serpent say? You can be like God. But see, they had that because he created them to be his. So that's the deception, right? The serpent told her that she could be like God. But what really happened when she accepted the offer was that she became her own God. Mm. Like she stepped out of the image and likeness that she already had, that the devil was baiting her with, and he tricked her and she fell for it because she saw it as an opportunity to be all powerful in her own strength and her own understanding rather than dwelling in the power of God's strength and understanding. And so it was that moment where we became the Lord's competitors rather than his companions. Mm. And so what it comes down to is we've been incomplete ever since the fall, ever since Adam and Eve separated us from that completion. And that's what every human being, new agers and otherwise are on a pursuit of that completion. 
And new age in and of itself is the spiritual aspect of that, right? Other people will find it in, in or try to find it in things like fornication and drugs and drinking and addiction and fame and money and all these worldly things. But then the spiritual side is the new age where it's a faulty attempt to restore that image and likeness. And the bait of it remains the same as it did in the garden because the devil isn't very original, but he's very right. crafty. And so he just says, well, you can be like God, which really means with new age, you can be your own God, right? You can make the rules and sin doesn't exist. Okay. The Lordship of God doesn't exist because you are your own Lord. And so why are people drawn to it? Because although we lost his companionship through sin, we are still his creation. And as that creation, we long for our creator. It's like if you take a fish out of water, it dies. If you take a flower out of soil, it dies. When you take us out of God, we die. Mm. And so there's this just innate knowing within each of us before we are born again, that we are literally dying without him. And so what do we do? We search for life. We search for meaning. We search for truth. We search for healing, all while rejecting the one God who is the author of all of the above. And that's exactly what Adam and Eve did. That's what I did, right? I was trying to be my own God because I didn't know it, but I was starving. I was starving for God. Mm. And that's why people are drawn to it. They're trying to fill the God-shaped hole in their heart, not knowing that it's in the shape of a cross. And they're trying to reconcile that image and likeness of God that we are initially created for. And it's all through your own works, through your own strength and through your own fashion, because like I already said, it's a self-savior complex. And it's like everything else the devil does because his only goal, his only capability is to steal, kill, destroy and lie. And so the new age is that self-savior complex and it's a complete perversion of the gospel that saves where you are again both the problem and the solution so it just entices people with this disillusion notion that a really popular saying in the new age is you're the one you've been looking for right the wow. deeper you go in the more you reconcile with the source energy which is it, new age jargon for god in which you came from because in New Age, there is the understanding that source exists, that God exists, and that we all come from that, which is true. But what's not mentioned is that the chasm is there. Mm. So with New Age, it's like, well, you're who you've been looking for all along because God is within you all along. But that's not the case. That is simply not the case. God is without. The kingdom of God is transferred within us once we are born again and he yes. fills us with his spirit but that's like the most deceptive facet of the new age is that you fall for the lie that god is already within you and that mm. you are therefore perfect you're whole and complete because divinity is somehow your birthright and so you never recognize your own depravity you don't acknowledge sin that's not a thing and you don't believe in the, ne the necessity of Jesus Christ as the literal only way to reconcile that chasm between you and God. Wow. Because in New Age, not only are you the bridge of reconciliation to God, you are also just God. It's not about being born again and dying to yourself like it is once we actually have a biblical framework of what is objective reality. It's not about being born again and dying to yourself in new age. It's actually just about aligning with your higher self, which doesn't exist by the way, because I say this a lot that your higher self is just like uh, an inflamed sinner basically, wow. because who you are without God is complete darkness. It's complete darkness. And the ironic thing is that new age like the trademark copyright slogan of new age is that it's all light and love. And just like that, uh, Corinthians verse that you referenced that Satan masquerades as that very thing. He masquerades as an angel of light. Mm. And so people are getting involved with new age because they're looking for Jesus and they just don't know it. 
They are hungry for the truth, but Satan has baited them with my truth. So we trade the objective truth for subjective truth. And then in a pursuit of actually coming back to the likeness and image of God, we instead become our own God. And then you get stuck on this hamster wheel with no means to an end in New Age because you cannot save yourself. Only Jesus can do that. That's so good.